you guys. So last year I was testing this outdoor canning setup I have and now I've just made it uh, my go-to can canning for outside when the weather is hot or I just don't feel like canning inside or it's too messy etc. It's out here underneath my sun porch and I've got my big propane tank here and I've got um, an outdoor cooker this is actually an old Camp Chef model. They call it here the professional model, and it's 56,000 BTUs. Now it's called the Camp Chef Pro Series. Got this off Craigslist last year for 75 bucks. Um, you can buy a stripped-down model of this at like Big Five for 150. Um, not as heavy duty, but would do the job. Or you can go on up to like $500, depending on um, how many bells and whistles you want. But what I needed in order to make outdoor canning successful was this damn knob. On the um, old turkey fryers, you know, the ones that sit low, you put the big pot on it, they had the, the um, pipe here, the tube, but it only had like a nozzle, right? You would turn off and on, but that thing always had drift. It would always drift. So if I had this on something, a, a temperature with the, no, the switch nozzle, I had to babysit because it would get hotter, it would get colder, it would just drift on its own. This does not drift. It does not drift at all. Yesterday, I canned up some um, marionberry jam, and I'll insert that right here. To show you. Oh, the beautifulness. Yes, the beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you have to take the scum off if there's any. I don't know why. I guess you could put some butter in it. And what you might ha what you might have noticed with that is that I have a steamer canner here, which is the harvest model, the one one of the ones that's approved, and you only put water up to here. But it acts as a water bath canner. Anything you can can in a water bath, you can can in the appropriate steamer canner. And there's only a few of them that are approved. Uh, Harvest is one of them. And then in this other pot, I had the regular uh, just water bath canner. So I had this one on low because I didn't need as much uh, water to boil, right? And this one was on medium. And they uh, both worked, it both worked out well. Of course, this one is faster because it's got less water to boil, although you can for the same amount of time, the overall process is less. So it worked great. Um, I've also used my pressure canner out here, my All American and my Presto, and they work well. And it, it all has to do with the exactness of the handle and the, uh, you know, the ability for it to regulate the gas appropriately. The other thing I did is we brought out this um, old side table. It's got this metal stand, which is great, so you can take a pot off and put it over there. Hot things down, messy things down. It's plastic. Hose it off when you're when you're done with it. And you can tell we took the jars out and just let them, you know, cool down initially out here. It's 9,500 degrees, and then after that we took them inside the house to finish cooling. So this is just an awesome setup. I really like it. Um, because these can get up to 56,000 BTUs, so don't throw that thing on high and walk away. Not only will you potentially explode something if you're using a pressure canner, but, um, well, you won't because they've got the safety valves built in, but you, you could definitely warp a canner doing that and break jars, etc. Um, the thing, uh, the other thing about this that some people run into problems with is wind. So if you're out in an open area and the wind comes by, these little side panels help with that so the flame, you know, isn't affected. Um, but I am under, you know, in a corner in a sunroom here or an outdoor porch area. And so we don't really get that wind in this area. Anyway, I love the setup. I'm going to continue to use it. It works great. I can do two canners at the same time. And, um, yeah. So you can have somebody help you and not get in each other's way. I was standing on that side of the table. My husband was on this side. We were both working side by side to remove items from the canner, etc. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, forget. don't forget you can buy used. Just test out the product before you bring it home.